Joshua 21, 45. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Every one was fulfilled. Hey Hope City Kids. So this month we've been learning all about God's promises for us. And that's actually our big idea is that God promises, God's promises are for now and for later. So what he promised people in the Bible um, before are now promises for us now. And whatever he promises you right now, and he has big promises for you later. And this week our Bible story is all about a guy named Abraham who God promised that he would have a great big family and that his descendants would be as many as stars in the sky. And we're going to hear all about how God fulfilled that promise in his life, even though it did take some time. I hope you guys enjoy and be sure to read the Bible story with your families. It's found in Genesis 1, uh, 12, 1 through 3. Bye, Hope City Kids. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Abraham. This is Abram, who will later be known as Abraham. Hey. When Abram was in the land called Canaan, God told him to look over the land as far as his eyes could see. God promised that the land would be blessed and that Abram would have many children. Ah. 25 years passed. Abram and Sarai were very old and still had no children. God appeared to Abram and said, don't be afraid. I'm your shield, a sun is coming. Look at the heavens and count the stars. Someday, you will have as many children as there are stars in the sky. 
Then God told Abram that his name would no longer be Abram, but it would be Abraham, which means father of many nations. God also told Abraham that Sarai's name would be changed to Sarah. God promised to bless Sarah and told Abraham that she would become pregnant and have a son. God made a covenant with Abraham that day. His covenant was a promise that Abraham would have many sons and they would be blessed. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Cassie. And welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co-host, Cassie. Where we learn, where we grow, and we talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome to Grow TV. Cassie, how have you been? Good. Pretty busy, though. How about you? Well, same. What have you been busy with? I've been reading a lot about Noah since we talked about him last week, and I really like that part about God making a promise to him and his family. Yeah, that's one of my favorite parts too. God's promises are really cool. They are. I just hope I can get a promise for myself one day. What do you mean? Well, I've never gotten a promise from God. Sure you have. I think I would know, Carl. Well, think about all the promises that are in the Bible. I know. There are some cool ones, but I don't think they're for me. So that's why I'm waiting for my promise. Wait a second. I think we need to play a game right now. What game? It's called Promise or Not. How do you play? Well, it's easy. I'm going to read off some promises that are in the Bible, and you're going to have to figure out whether or not it's a promise for you or not. Got it? Got it. All right. Let's do Isaiah 40, 29. God gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Hmm. I don't think that's for me. All right, round two, James 4, 7. Submit yourselves to the Lord. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. That's a tough one, but I'm going to say not for me. All right, third and final round, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Now, I've heard that verse before, but I don't know if that's a promise for me, so I'm going to say no. Okay, well, let's look at the scoreboard. We gave you the three promises from the Bible. You chose that zero of these promises are for you. So let's see if you were wrong or right. How many of these promises were made for Cassie? Whoa, all three. Isn't that incredible? I guess, but I don't know. I just don't know if that makes any sense. I can understand that can be confusing, but when promises are made to God's children, that means all of God's children. Remember Abraham? Abraham from the Old Testament? Yep. God not only promised that he would take care of him and his family, but that his legacy would continue forever. So God made him a specific promise? Yep, and that promise wasn't just for Abraham, but it was for his kids, and their kids, and their kids, and their kids, and their kids. Basically forever. And that's the cool thing about God. I guess you're right. It's pretty cool that God's promises are for now and for later. And you know what's even cooler? Ice cream. Yeah, well... No, that does sound pretty good. But what I was gonna say is- Polar bears, they are pretty cool. What? No, I was, I was gonna say that's our big idea. Our big idea is polar bears? No, the other thing. Ice cream, yay, that's our big idea. What? No. Okay, this is getting out of control. Just roll the big idea intro. Today's big idea is polar bears holding ice cream. What? No, oh, man, this show is going off the rails. Sorry. This week's big idea is God's promises are for now and for later. So on the count of three, let's all say it together. Ready? Ready. One. Two. Three. God's promises are for now and for later. Woohoo! Good job, everyone. That was great. So this was a good day. Sure was. I'm glad you now realize that God's promises are for you now and for later. Yeah, I'm also really excited too. For what? For the polar bears eating ice cream, of course. Are you kidding me? There's no polar bears in Florida. It's way too hot, first of all. And t secondly, I'm kind of terrified of polar bears. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow TV.